Hello students today we are going to see the second part of class 5 basic science in the last part we have already learned about the edible parts of plants plants provide food for us like us animals also depend on plants for their food now think from where do these plants get their food from we have to find out so here we are going to see how plants prepare their food the process by which plants prepare their food is known as photosynthesis now let's go in detail about what is photosynthesis So before going to the detailed study about photosynthesis we'll see an interesting video Plants use energy from the sunlight to make food The part of the leaves that catches and absorbs the sun energy is called chlorophyll Remember it is chlorophyll that gives leaves their green color Plants obtain carbon dioxide gas from the air. Tiny holes called stomata present on the leaves help this carbon dioxide to enter the leaves. The next important thing needed by the plant is water. Plants get water from the soil with the help of roots. Just like the straw that you use to drink juice the roots and stems of a plant have narrow tubes that help carry water from the roots all the way up to the leaves the veins in the leaves help to distribute this water to all the parts of the leaf and then the recipe is complete just like how your mother cooks food in the kitchen the chlorophyll uses the sun's energy to combine carbon dioxide and water to prepare food for the plant the food prepared is in the form of sugar and oxygen is also given out by the leaves in the process thus the process of photosynthesis in the leaves can be summarized as shown The food prepared is then used by the plant for growth, repairing damaged plant parts, and to obtain energy. Isn't it amazing to know what all goes on inside the peaceful leaves of plants? Now, did you understand what is photosynthesis? Here we'll see how photosynthesis take place. So the first step is plants absorb water through their roots. So the roots of the plant absorb water. This water contains various minerals. So the water which the root absorb contains various minerals. plants also observe carbon dioxide from the atmosphere through minute pores present in their leaves preparation of food takes place in the leaves this process is called photosynthesis sunlight and the pigment present in the leaves called chlorophyll are essential for photosynthesis The product of photosynthesis is glucose. Oxygen is also formed along with this and it is released during daytime. The glucose formed through photosynthesis is later converted into starch. So plants prepare their own food and are hence known as autotrophs. So here in photosynthesis what all things are happening? So here the plants absorb water through their roots and they absorb carbon dioxide through 
minute pores in the leaves known as stomata. Now there is a pigment in the leaf which gives the leaves green color that is known as chlorophyll. Now the byproducts of this process are glucose and oxygen. So from all these we can conclude a definition for photosynthesis. The process by which plants prepare their own food by combining water and carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight is called photosynthesis. And here photo means light and synthesis means preparing. So the name comes preparing food in the presence of sunlight which is known as photosynthesis. Now we will see what is tomato. We have already told that plants absorb carbon dioxide through small pores in the leaves which are known as stomata. Now in the picture you can see stomata and we cannot see these small pores by our naked eye. They can be observed only through microscope. Okay. Now like stomata Another important factor in photosynthesis is a pigment named chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is a green colored pigment seen in plants. This pigment gives green color to the leaves. And this chlorophyll absorbs sunlight needed for photosynthesis. Now observe the pictures. Besides chlorophyll, other pigments are also present in plants. Hence, leaves with the pigment xanthophyll appear yellow in color. Those with carotene appear yellowish orange and those with anthocyanin appear red in color. So, different pigments give different color to the leaves. Now, are pigment present only in leaves? No. Pigments give color to leaves, stem, flowers and fruits. Now look at this picture. We have already learned that oxygen is released during photosynthesis. So will this arrangement be helpful to get oxygen during the night? We should find out the answer. So to find out answer for this question, we should know the relation between photosynthesis and respiration. Okay, so during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is absorbed and oxygen is released. All organisms including plants respire day and night. Oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is given out at that time. So during respiration what happens is oxygen is taken in and carbon dioxide is released out. So that's the difference between photosynthesis and respiration. So now observe the picture. During photosynthesis carbon dioxide is absorbed by the plants. Now during respiration oxygen is taken in and this process is a cyclic process okay now photosynthesis does not takes place at night and oxygen is not released so hope you understood the full process of photosynthesis okay thanks for watching the video